Hello. I have a mixed thrift haul of things here from last week, and then I went thrifting down at the Pacific Beaches, so I'll show that too. This I got at Goodwill, and I think this was like $1.99, and it's one of those, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I have some mixing, they're vintage, and these bands indicate 4, 8, and 12 ounce capacity bar glass. So it matches my other two ice crushing ones. So very happy to find that. And then I got this, what is this? Hearth and Hand from, you know, uh, Magnolia Target thing for 99 cents. So I thought that was kind of pretty. So that's all I found at the Goodwill. Then I went to a rummage sale at the Lutheran School and I got all this stuff 50 cents a piece. And let's see. What is this? Christmas stuff. It's a weird. I think this is supposed to be put on your door. It's missing a bell, but I have bells. And then this there. And one of these yarn witches, which is actually a very nice yarn witch. She has a nice felt dress. And two bags of these minis, Tupperware minis, which I'm always glad to find. And this is just a little brush tree. And then they give me this bag. It's for Metropolitan Market. It's so fancy. So, oh, and then this is a... Uh, this is a vintage souvenir thing that, what, what did you see? Oh, you saw these at what? Putt Put -put Golf Course in the 60s. Oh. They yeah. were the little souvenir characters. Yeah, this is a monkey make. with a fez. Monkeys look yeah, great with fezzes. Is, but... And you'd go in the gift shop and buy them? Yeah. Yeah. Though right. oh, this is really neat. Oh, he was 50 cents. Sometimes they'd have little signs, see? you know. It's made in Japan. Yeah. All this stuff was made in Japan back in the day. That's cool. So that's... So much higher quality then. Yeah, and we <laughs> thought that was junk back in the day. Really. Now we got junk. Now we got <laughs> junk. So, anyhow. Um, ooh, what's this? This must be her choker. Yeah, this is a one of those. Um, I think it's one of those best friend dolls. And I think this is the Middle Eastern one. Because she has this tattooing stuff on her hand. I got this at... The Goodwill in Aberdeen, $3.99. That's all I found there. Yeah, she has, I think I've had this doll before. Oh, great. What's that truck? And this is, oh, and this was at, where was this? Anchor, uh, Anchor, no. Oh. Anchor Thrift, yeah, in Shores. Right, right. And this is a dollar and a half. I need this for my espresso machine. The one I have is too tall. So this is a, I think this is a Krups one, yes. Stainless steel. Dollar and a half, and then I got this awesome vintage apron for four dollars, but it's really, really nice. It's like brand new. So these are nice when you're cooking or painting or what. Ooh, it's really detailed. Ooh, this is a nice one. And I like the bib style ones. So you can just put them on and let them hang. So I'm usually in a hurry. And these I got at, oh, the Senior Center Thrift Store in right Shores. Right yeah, right by our motel. Let me see. And these were a dollar piece. This one's nice because these almost look Bakelite to me. I'll probably put an extender on this because this is a choker length. And I usually want them to hang a little longer on my neck. Hang down a little further. So that's nice, a dollar. And this is an old Avon pendant, which I thought was kind of... Kind of snazzy. See, it's got this little chains, and it's marked Avon on the back with a nice gold chain. So that was a dollar. That's all I found there. Then this was at Flea Market Finds in Shores. These are those. I love these. These are those milky. They're J Japanese. Japanese. She's got a couple, they got some rubs on them, but oh my gosh, they're so cute, look. Mm -hmm. So that's all I can find there. Oh, look at even her pigtails move. Yeah, she's just got some rubs, but these are super cute. Mm -hmm. One of them's milky, and I forget what the other one is. But are they marked? I can't tell, but I know who they are. So they're awesome. Look at that. 
that's what I got at this flea market finds. And then this was at Dream Thrift in Aberdeen. Yeah. Right. And this is a vintage. Does it have a date on it? Right, hair dryer. And it was three dollars. I think it's seven. Made in Japan, late so 70s. yeah. So that's better yeah. quality. And I think all the stuff's in there. Is it? It looks pretty good. It's good at lick. Ooh. This oh, is nice. Styling knees. Oh. If you have a wing do. Yes. I like might this. get one yeah. since I have this. Yeah. Nice. Three dollars. Three bucks. That's all we could find there, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's all I could find. Slim pickings. Yeah. And then this was... Oh, these are some... I'll show these cards. <laughs> <laughs> these cards are funny. Um, This was at... Thrift City in Aberdeen, 30% off. So this is 30% off of $8.99, but this is really a nice one. Yeah, it's a Vegematic it's from, and it's marked 1969. So this is the original one. Boy, did they saturate the airways with commercials for this thing. Chop mountains of fries. Hundreds of julienne fries in Hundreds seconds. of julienne fries. <laughs> Gallons of coleslaw. Right. Yeah. Anyway. See, you put your stuff in there, you go, bam! Yeah, wow. Yeah, put your finger in there. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, that's neat. It almost looks like Robot Commando. It's cool. It's very cool. It's very iconic. Yeah. So, I was happy to get that. They need all the help they can. They're just a yeah. little independent thrift store. I try to buy what I can down there, but I'm not going to buy just... I got an Atari deck down there for five bucks one time. Oh, that's cool. And it works. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I got this. My Xyron glue machine. It's not as good as an Atari. But no, but it's not. Uh, for me, it is. Two hundred nine less 30 and this is the one for the 5-inch, which I didn't have. My 9-inch one will take 5-inch, but it's nice to have the proper thing. So this is a Xyron for my gluing needs, mm -hmm. which are many. And uh, let's see. Some nice scarves. I just saw this scarf on a show. Oh, I think it was Flavor of Love. Awesome show. <laughs> I think one of the girls had maybe this it scarf. Was claws. Or maybe it was. Yeah. I, they only it was turquoise, but it was this scarf. So this was $2.99, less $30. I love the scarves with the chains. Here's one. So these need to be whooshed. This one was $2.29. Let's start. Ooh, this one's nice, too. Look at that. Chains. They're trying to copy Hermes. And, you know, mm. but, so that's nice. And I got, oh, I got a nightgown. It's just a regular old mm. nightgown. $2.99. Let's $30. Long sleeves. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I will be needing that. And another scarf. This one's silk. This was 99 cents. And it has pearl necklaces on it, which I like. I don't know if this is tag. Made in Japan. Oh, wow. It's an Echo. Echo was a good brand. Oh, this is vintage. It's silk. Echo. Nice. So that was really good. And, oh, I got this awesome candle. And it was originally $22.50. It's Bed Bath & Beyond Blue Ocean Waves. So it's $4.99 less $30. So. Mm, it smells good, too. Here, smell. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, yay. And, uh, but wait, there's more. Oh, Mr. Retro's got this little dab of Cologne or something. Ever After. Who makes that? Let me see. Avon. I think I'll use that. 79 first. cents. Yeah, use it up first. And I got this beautiful tablecloth for in here. This was only $2.99, and it's one of these printed ones. Vintage printed with the Ooh, this will be pretty in here. And it's in nice shape, too. I'm thrilled to get that, too. And then I got this really fun... Double polyester double knit fabric. This will make great purses and um, 
little um, housefrau dresses is what my friend calls them for those dolls. So it's $2.29 less $30. These will be great housefrau dress material. And, uh, oh, another scarf. I, this one is silk, too. $1.99, does this have a tag? I can tell it's silk. Oh, here it is. Silk by Zazu Lux. Snazzy. Nice. And I got shower curtain. Because, wow. When, <clears throat> when we were down there, we bought a beach house. So <laughs> I will be needing this for the beach house. I'm going to post a separate video of the beach house. I do walk it's a through. Trailer, really. It's a trailer. It's a 1964. Ritz craft vintage trailer that's been curbed. It has a separate roof and a, and a uh, storage building, yeah. and it overlook the property overlooks a meadow and the Copalis River, and then the ocean is just like four blocks down the road. So we're thrilled. We just signed the papers. About a quarter acre lot. And it'll be ready it'll in be about a week so and a half or so. So we're thrilled, yeah, and I'm gonna show cool. you something else here. But I will post pictures and a video separately. So and then we went into Grayland, which is on the <laughs> south shore south of Grays Harbor. We're on the beach house is on the north shore. So these are some cards Mr. Retro's got. <laughs> He's gonna send this to someone. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Now, don't be offended if you're offended. Tune out now. <laughs> I don't know who he's going to send this to. <laughs> See, he loves this. <laughs> These men folk like this kind of thing. And uh, what's this one? I can't remember the one. Oh, this is a nice birthday <laughs> card. <laughs> this is nice. Sorry, you're old. <laughs> so that's what we got at Grace Harbor. Oh, and I was going to show you the um, my color samples. I went up back to the beach house and scraped She's on it. Crazy. It's white. It's painted white. But I would like to bring it. I want to restore it back to original colors. original colors, which I think are these two colors here. Baby's Whisper and Azul Eyes. Mm -hmm. But I was, and what originally I was thinking of these two colors here. Stripe. A stripe, a, a stripe of this and the field of this. Right. A stripe of the blue and a field of this. Right. So you'll see it in the video. So I think that is it. So I'll go get my video posted. I'll see you later. Bye.